The cross is the first step of the Friedrich method, MGLS, and many other methods, including most beginners' methods. However, making it, for some people, is quite an issue. This is going to be the beginner's video for how to make a cross. And I'll have a link in the sidebar and as an annotation as to um, the advanced method, but I suggest that you know this first. This is the... it's not very fast, but it'll get you what you need with that much trouble. So let's start with a scrambled cube. For the sake of simplicity, we are going to be using the white side for the cross, because for most people it is the easiest to recognize. Now what you want to do first is simply get all of these white pieces up on the opposite side, which on most cubes will be yellow. If it's not, then you can just look across from the white center, and you'll need to put all of the white corners on this side facing up. So what you'll want to do is, it, the best way I can describe it is just slide them into place. But you can kind of look at what I'm doing and see how to do it. It's like, I see this piece right here, it needs to go somewhere up on this top layer, but if I move it up, then it knocks off this piece that's already there, so you can move it out of the way and slide it up. And the same thing for this piece, just move these out of the way and move it up. For this one, it's a similar thing. These are in the way, so move it so there's an empty spot above it and slide it in place. If you have a case like this, then you'll want to do something like sliding it out of place and then just basically sliding it in place the same way you always have been, moving an empty slot above it and moving it in. You might have a case like this where if you rotate it all the way up it won't be oriented. So in that case you'd want to move it up and then you'd have the same case as you normally do. Move an empty slot above it and slide it in. From this point you're going to move all of the edges down to the right spot on here. Now keep in mind that while this may look like it's in the right spot, it's actually not because the other side of this edge doesn't match up with the center. So that's what we're trying to solve with this. First thing you want to do is look around and see if any of these white edges match up with the centers. And they don't. So do a simple U-turn and you see that we have this green matched up. So what you want to do is a simple F2 or depending on where it is, like if it's right here, it might be an R2 to get it in place. Because these two are matched up and these two are matched up. So it, that piece is solved. If we look around, no other piece is solved. So U. And now we have both this piece and this piece matched up. So just do an R2 to move that into place. And an F2 to move that into place. And this is not in place. So we were done with that U-slice, or U-move. So then, do a one more U-turn, and this piece is matched up, moved in place, and there's your cross.